day, this is John Lee, and today is Saturday, May 23rd, and I'm walking along Broadway in downtown Manhattan. I'm about to pass Bleecker Street, and today I'm in the mood to visit a cowboy boots store. Specifically, the name of the store is called Space Cowboy. I actually used to own a pair of cowboy boots that my stepfather purchased for me back in um, years ago in Texas. I loved those boots. I only had them for maybe six years before they fell apart. But those boots tend to be pretty sturdy. I'm just really brutal with my footwear. So I'm walking along East Houston, or Houston. Here's Mulberry Street. I'm going to take a left here. And somewhere... Somewhere along the sidewalk will be Space Cowboy. I'm heading uptown now as opposed to downtown, which I was heading downtown earlier along Broadway. Made a left on Houston Street and made another left on Mulberry Street. There's all kinds of interesting boutique stores along here. There's an ice cream store. What's that called? Chocolate. Looks like a bunch of coffee places around here. Kind of a quiet street. And you can see the latest movies that will be playing soon or are already playing. What train station is this? Okay, so this is the Bleecker Street station. This is where you would get off if you wanted to get near Space Cowboy. The BDFN or Six Line. I actually live right next to the B and D line, so I could take this directly down here. Internet, incidentally, I left my old job, I resigned my, from my old job about two weeks ago, and that job was located in Long Island City, which was about an hour and 15 minute commute. Now, I'm working in Midtown Manhattan, which I think cuts my commute time in half practically. So that's really nice. Yeah, I'll be working in Midtown Manhattan, not far from the Empire State Building, near Macy's. Which is really nice. And the nice thing is I have two, about a little, a little over two weeks before I have to start. So I get to rest and relax. I mean, I had already just taken a two week vacation back in April. But now, I get another two weeks off. So hopefully I'll be recording more video blogs. If I can, assuming I, there's plenty of interesting things in New York City, but that's assuming I can get off my butt and just go out and do stuff, which I definitely plan to do. Now, if I can just find this store. Where is this store? Well, it turns out I was heading in the opposite direction. My great internal GPS system at work again. But Space Cowboy is located on 234 Mulberry Street, for those of you who are interested in downtown Manhattan, in the village. 234 Mulberry Street. Not far off East Houston Street. I'll be finding this place soon. There are so many great sales out here today. That's why you have all these New Yorkers out in full force. They're on a shopping feeding frenzy. The weather is beautiful. For the first time in a while, we're having really great spring weather. In the past couple of weeks it's been spring, but the weather's been on and off. Lately, the past few days, it's been pretty cold. So we've had to wear jackets. I wore a sort of orangey Adidas uh, jacket today because it was actually kind of cold this morning. But now that we're, it's about two, three o'clock right now, a little after midday, heading towards um, late afternoon or early evening. And it is hot outside. 
I really wish I had left this jacket at home, but I didn't know which way the weather was gonna go. Spring has been so unpredictable lately. But hopefully from this time forward, the weather will, will be nice and I won't have to wear any jackets, period. And I'll know how to dress. So let's see, two, three, four, Mulberry. gone too far down. Uh, you have to be there in a few weeks. I'm not exactly the best person when it comes for directions. No. Thank God I have a GPS app on my phone, which means I'll never get lost. But even with the GPS, sometimes I struggle. That's how bad I am. Right. We passed 240 Mulberry, not too... Oh, there we go. I see Space Cowboy. Yes. I'm going to show it to you guys. Here we go. You can see the sign, Space Cowboy. This is where they sell boots from Texas. They make custom made boots. They've got um, high fashion boots. They've got the whole thing and they've got, as you can see here, first sale ever. 20 to 40 to 60% off for Memorial Day weekend, May 21st to May 25th. And there you can see the address, 234 Mulberry Street, Nolita, New York City, 1002. So yeah, it looks like they have some interesting boots based on their advertisement. I yeah, will check it out. All right, so the owners of Space Cowboy have allowed me to record some of their selection in the store. And as you can see, everything that's on these shelves are on sale. Lots of different selections. These two bottom rows that you're seeing here are for women and the rest are men's. I tend to like flamboyant clothing, so for whatever reason, the women's shoes are appealing to me. But there are some good selections for the men's boots as well. You can make anything in any size. Anything in any size. You heard the lady there. Just out of curiosity, this is your first sale ever. Yes, ever. What Wait, made you... Okay. There she is. Okay. What made you decide to... Um, do a sale now, out of after all these years. Well, we just have a lot of inventory, and people are doing a lot more custom, so okay. we have a lot of in stock, and um, so we just decided to do a sale. Our customers have been asking for years, "Are you going to do a sale? Are you going to do a sale?" This is our first in four years. Ah, okay. It's a big one, so great yeah, deal for New York City. Daisies and old Gringos, people that know Cowboy Boot brands. Those are two big ones. Come on down, up to 60% off. And all the up to 60%. What, what are your most popular type of boots? Is it the snakeskin or um, alligator or just plain old leather? No, uh, I'd say, I'd say just the regular traditional boots. The regular ones? Oh, wow. This is a woman's boot though, right? No, we have it in, in men's and women's. Oh, men's and women's? Yeah. In that color, we carry men and women's in tan. Or if you want to go crazy, I mean, this isn't crazy. This goes with everything. Oh my god. This boot is that looks pretty cool. What is? What kind of um, material is that? It's a cowhide goat. Cowhide and goat? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How much do those go for? Those go for eight ninety five. Eight ninety five, and with the sale, how much is it? Twenty percent off. Twenty percent off. Okay. All hand done, hand cut, sewn. They're all handmade, right? Yeah. And you can custom make boots too. We do custom. Just custom. Choose boots. the heel height, skin type, alligator, ostrich, toe type. Is there a difference in durability between like alligator or snake or leather? Um. Just a few require a little bit more care and specific creams. Okay. Like uh, any, if you're using an alligator or a snake, like rattlesnake or python or lizard, you go with a conditioner called Reptan. And uh, it's to like um, buffer these uh, membranes and stuff. Uh huh. You see like that? All right. So it doesn't collect any dust or nothing. No grime collects. Nice. Anything. That's alligator, right? That's a crocodile. Oh, crocodile? This is alligator. Oh, I see. Oh. 
How much do those go for? Do I want to know? Ouch! Ouch! But that's not on sale. Okay. All right. Yeah, it is 40% off. Oh, 40%? Oh, so yellow means 40? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, so the different colors. Red is 60, yellow is 40%, and blue is 20%. And you, they come in different sizes. Let's see. Huh. What boots do you have that are like in the five hundred dollars range? Um, like this is a four ninety five. Oh, like four ninety five. The more work that goes into it, the more expensive it is. Yeah, exactly. So Man, the ones I like are like in the thousands of dollars. I think I have to go for a more traditional style design. Oh, this one's four ninety five. Okay, tan cowgirl. And then, like you see, once you do like. Hand That's tool. when it gets expensive. Hand painting, it's uh, yeah. But these boots tend to last for years, right? Yeah. You can go for um, up to 20 years in a boot. That's why they're still around, because they last so long. Uh huh. I used to have a pair, but they lasted, and they lasted a long time for me anyway, because I tend to beat up my footwear, but it lasted for six years. Kind of looked like this one. Yeah, if you're wearing them every day, then. That's yeah. Good. Uh huh. Now, I did bring... So here's a selection of their today. belt buckles. Very eccentric, unique designs. Are these custom? Some these of them are, yeah. We can make custom belt buckles too. Let me lift this up for you so you can oh, okay. take the layer off. Oh, beautiful. This is really nice stuff. Thanks. I hope you guys have another sale again, because <laughs> I may come back. All right. Take advantage, but we, I'm definitely going to grab a pair of boots We actually never have here. a sale. This is the first time ever. Yeah. Yeah. So Memorial so we'll Day weekend, folks, down. you got to come down this weekend. That's right. They okay. may never have another sale again. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we usually we usually uh, don't discount anything because it's so hard to get it, and uh, they're very special. Right. Especially in New York City. I mean, yeah. cowboy boots in New York City. Yep. Actually, yeah. I mean, I did a search online. I probably have to say you guys are the, if not the only, the best cowboy boots place. Both. In New York City. The only and the best. <laughs> there you go. one and we're good. Right. So they do have a bunch of pre-made boots, but they can also custom make boots for you. Here's, here's my story. Uh, this, this belt is, well, let me see. I had it like 71. So do the math. That's like, it's all little. It's 40 something years old. Thank God it's older than me. Uh, it's actually not Well, I don't know what God all right, so the boot that I'm interested in is. Let's see if I can show it to you. I like this boot. One, the price is right, five and forty-nine dollars, and the blue sticker means that it is forty percent off. And it looks like a sturdy boot. I'm not sure what material this is. It's called Nevada Redneck, and it's got a nice little red hue to it towards the top. And they're old gringo, as you can see. And they actually come in my size too, which is also great. Uh, seven and a half and eight, I believe. Can you see the price? Zoom in there, dude. Focus, focus. There we go. There we go. Here you can see some of the celebrities that. It looks like they visited the store at some point. It's Anna Nicole Smith, who's no longer with us. Soccer star. The Mavericks. Alright, so I picked up a pair of cowboy boots, and here they are. They're called Old Gringo. Yeah, I'd have to order it for you. Um, I wasn't sure about them when I first saw them. I was actually interested in the um, the red top boots that I was originally looking at, but they didn't have that in my size. And I tried this one on, and when I saw it in the mirror, it just seemed to look good on me for some reason. Even though when I was originally looking at it, uh, wasn't sure about them. But yeah, these are the cowboy boots. 
My second pair of cowboy boots ever. Looking forward to wearing them. All right, so that was Space Cowboy. I just bought my second pair of boots. You can see the store behind me. Pretty cool logo design over there. And um, the owner's name is Jay Lynn. And uh, she was very helpful, very nice. And the other guy's name was Gregory in the white hat. Both very helpful, very friendly people. Highly recommend coming to Space Cowboy if you're in the market for a pair of Texas, authentic Texas style cowboy boots. They also have custom made cowboy hats, belts. I don't work for these people, but it's an awesome place to visit if you've never been here before. A piece of Texas in New York City. Who would have thought? Anyway, this is John Lee. Thanks for watching. Please click like and or subscribe if you um, if you want to see future videos, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.